Continuing now, an attorney representing a Marine who has been held in a Mexican jail since April, speaking out about how he plans to handle this case differently from the two other attorneys his family had hired. Our Natasha Sweet crossed the border today to meet with Sergeant Andrew Tamarisi's attorney and has this interview from our sister station in Tijuana. Well, Fernando Benitez is Andrew Tamorsi's third attorney. He says after reviewing the case for only a week and a half, he's confident the evidence he has to present will end the case in Tamorsi's favor. I think uh, this was a series of compounded mistakes. The series of mistakes beginning with Andrew Tamorsi going across the Mexican border with guns not properly registered in Mexico. There's actually a, a, a spot where you're already in Mexico, but you could very well make the assumption that you were in the United States because the, the payment is identical, the signs are identical. Criminal defense attorney Fernando Benedict says his client never intended to cross into Mexico. He says the confusion began with the location of the turnaround being placed on the left side versus the right side. He says the cement barriers were also blocking Timorsi from exiting before reaching the border. If you live in the San Diego, Southern California, uh, Tijuana region, um, this, you can relate to this being a mistake that uh, anyone can make. Benedict says Tamorsi was stopped by Mexican authorities, where, according to Benedict, is where issues began to escalate for his client. Uh, I can tell you right now we're not okay with seven hours of being held without an interpreter, without an attorney, without consular assistance. Some two months and three attorneys later, Tamorsi now awaits his chance to utilize sound evidence to prove his claim of innocence. I think he's being patient. I think he's being a Marine. Now, Benitez will represent Tamorsi the very first time in court on July 9th, and that's also when Tamorsi is scheduled to give his formal statements. Reporting in Tijuana, Natasha Sweet, San Diego 6 News.